Hey everyone, welcome to Desktop Hi-Fi. You know, today we're going to be taking a look at a little black box that's been causing, you know, a big stir in the audiophile community, and that is the $80 SMSL D1 DAC. Now, as a disclaimer, SMSL sent this to me at no charge for review. However, all opinions are my own, and no one has reviewed this video prior to posting. Now, for more information, or if you want to get one for yourself, I have my Amazon affiliate link in the description down below, and it doesn't add anything to the cost and helps support the channel if you use my link. You know what? This tiny desktop DAC, you know, it's priced around 80 bucks, and it's getting a lot of attention for one very specific reason. It uses a lesser known ROM chip, the uh, BD34352EKV. Well, in a world full of ESS and AKM chips, well, this is something new and kind of exciting. But is it just a gimmick, or does it deliver a sound that genuinely competes with its more expensive rivals? Well, let's find out. You know, my first impressions out of the box, yeah, were pretty great. Uh, the D1 has a really solid, kind of a minimalist type design with CNC machine aluminum chassis. You know, it's got a really small footprint. You can see how easily it fits in my palm. And it will fit perfectly on about any desk or any small audio setup. The front panel, well, it's kind of a high gloss acrylic. It looks great until you touch it, of course. <laughs> it starts showing every single fingerprint. Something to be aware of if you're like your gear spotless, I suppose. You know, the touch controls uh, are, well, I should say the controls are touch sensitive. One for power, one for cycling through the inputs, indicated by a column of LEDs. It's simple and functional. Although, you know, there might be some people that prefer more kind of a tactile or physical button. Now, around the back, we have a straightforward set of connections, right? You get optical, you get coaxial, you get USB, and you have two ports for USB, one for data and a second one for dedicated power. Now, the dual USB-C setup is a nice touch. You know, it allows a cleaner power path when you're using a separate 5 volt power adapter, which SMSL recommends for optimal performance. Now you can run it with just a single USB cable. I did so. But for the best experience, you should use a dedicated power port. But what you don't get with the D1 is kind of what helps keep the cost down. And it is features such as Bluetooth or MQA decoding. It's just not there. This is just a pure DAC, no nonsense. Just the essentials for clean digital to analog conversion. Now, for the most important part, you know, how does it sound? Now, I've had some time to listen to the SMSL D1, and it's quite a unique little device, really, because that ROM chip, well, it gives it a kind of a different flavor than your typical ESS or AKM based DACs, especially in this price range. You know, I think the D1 leans more towards a warmer, more atmospheric, and relaxed presentation. You know, it has a really surprising amount of body and weight in it. Um, the lower end especially, the mid bass, especially the mid bass, gives instruments, you know, a satisfying and natural decay. Now, the sound stage, well, that is another highlight, I think, because it feels wide and immersive, projecting a 360-degree feel that's, I think, just great for live recordings, right? And, uh, or say ambient music as well. Now, while the image isn't razor sharp, the overall sense of space is pretty excellent for the price. I think the mid-range is really rich and full. Vocals, I think they sound natural. They sound warm. It is kind of warmish. It's very musical, let's put it that way. And it's really engaging to sit down and listen to your music on there. Eric Clapton's Unplugged. Oh. Fantastic. No compromises are really made. Now, this may be a little bit less airy or less resolving than some of the competitors on some tracks, but it can ride the edge of sibilance. It prioritizes detail and energy. So the question comes, you know, how does this stack up against the competition? Let's say SMSL's own SU-1. The D1 and SU1 offer different sonic flavors, okay? The SU1 with its AKM chip, the cleaner, more neutral, maybe a livelier treble in the upper mid-range. The D1, however, is warmer and more relaxed with that prominent 
mid waist weight, uh, mid base weight. <laughs> Uh, look, if you prefer a clean, energetic, and slightly more analytical sound, then the SE-1 might be for you. But if you want a DAC that's you know, a, more about warm atmosphere and fuller presentation, then the D1 is going to be the clear winner. The SMSL D1 is an excellent budget DAC and really great option for anyone looking for something a little bit different. It's not perfect. The touch controls can be a bit finicky. The glossy front panel can be a fingerprint magnet, but it's warm sound and it's solid build, very solid, make it a compelling package for under 80 bucks. Now remember, if you're interested in this on your own, see the links in the description down below. But if you're gonna be building your first desktop audio setup and just want a compact, capable DAC with a rich signature sound, well, the DS, uh, M, D, S, M, S, L. Boy, I'm having the time today. The SMSL D1 is absolutely worth considering. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, I'll catch you in the next video.